Now, as you might remember from Horsey Adventures Episode Five, Season One, our ho- our friends have a big adventure ahead. They have to practice for an important dressage competition to save the world. If they lose, they will lose this place, and this place will be turned into a gas station. First. Star was going to be the horse performing in the competition with the human, but then Star broke her leg, and now she can't perform. That's why now the wild horses have agreed to work with a human for once to save their home. Okay, Spotty, right, Lily, left, jump, dance. Ah, 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 ah. Whoa! Ah, too fast! I think I'm starting to regret choosing to do this. I cannot work with horses when they don't trust me and I don't trust them. Maybe we are going to lose this place after all. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Me neither. I can't be told what to do by a human that I have known for two days and I don't trust. I want to help mommy. Me too. Then let's go. Mommy, is there a way we could help you guys? I mean, girls. Dear, I don't know if there's a way you little foals can help us in this dressage competition. And even if there was, I don't think I would want to put you in this. I don't trust the human, and I won't let my foal and his friend go to go to a place next to a human which we all don't trust. Ooh, I've got an idea. Let's use the foals. No, never. Here, you will never use my foals, human. I don't trust you, and I never will. I'm a wild. We we need to get some trust exercises with those two. Hey, I've got an idea. Come here, foals. Let's make a plan. One day later. Oh no! I'm in trouble. I am in this top of this rock, and I can't get down. I'm gonna fall and break a leg, and I'm gonna die. Oh no! And my mom can't save me because she can't climb to this rock. Oh no! Who will save me? Oh no, Shadow! I can't trust the Panthers to get up there. What am I gonna do? I've got an idea. What if we ask the human? That's the terriblest idea I've ever heard. I'm never going to ask that weird chimpanzee guy to rescue my foal. You need to let learn to get along. We all get along with him except you. We all trust him because we all know that he's a nice human. Fine, but if he gets captured in an intergalactical ship to be the human slave, then it's not my fault. <clears throat> it's not my fault if it happens. <clears throat> human, come here and save my fall, because you're definitely gonna save him. Oh no! The foal is trapped. I need to save it. <laughs> I know he's just pretending. He's just quickly gonna get his UFO and trap my foal in it, and I'll have to rescue him. <sighs> I told you this was a terrible idea. Just wait and see. Don't worry, little foal. I'll save you. Don't worry. Oh, you're so cute. Who's the 
cutest foal in the world. You are. You are. Wow! He actually saved him and didn't explode him. I told you. If he actually saved my foal, then I owe him an apology. I shouldn't have treated him like he was an evil person. He is a good person. I told you. One week later, and a final move. home i'm so proud of you hey before you leave i've seen what you did out there and i think it was wonderful me and my horse would like to invite you to a uh, to a talent competition at happy horse stables would you like to come of course that would be awesome and by the way, I'm Anne, and this is Blackie. Oh, I mean, this is Dandy. Those are very nice names. I'll remember them, Dandy and Anne. Well, see you at Happy Horse Stables next week. Then, bye.